which of the following can lead to sign shown in figure below so if you see this particular sign so you'll be able to appreciate yes uh, if we just delineate the outer lining here so you'll be seeing the convex nail plate here convex nail plate will also be here at the same time there will be a uh, loss of the angle between the lanula that is the lower part of your nail plate and your proximal nail fold so this particular condition is going to be the clubbing i'll explain it more okay so i'll give you a better figure here so if you see here th this is the proximal part of the nail fold and this is going to be your nail plate and here you be will be having the lanula so this semicircular thing will be the lanula so the angle between the lanula if you just try to merge these you will be able to see that there is loss of the angle between the lanula and the proximal part of nail fold or no proximal nail fold right now this particular condition is known as clubbing at the same time you'll be seeing the nail bed is quite convex here 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 okay so if you just try to understand this this is going to be the clubbing so we already have a mnemonic we have already discussed this previously also so the various important causes of the clubbing can be explained with the help of a mnemonic that is known as the clubbing so c stands c will be having two c stand for cystic fibrosis and cyanotic heart disease L stands for lung cancer or lung abscess. U stands for ulcerative colitis. B stands for bronchiectasis or benign mesothelioma. I stands for infective endocarditis or idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis then n stand for neurogenic tumors and g stands for your gastrointestinal disease okay so if you remember this particular mnemonic so you'll be able to uh, solve 90 percent of the questions actually so if we just see the explain uh, the options here so first is bronchogenic carcinoma carcinoma that's not there in our mnemonic the second one is mesothelioma yes benign mesothelioma is there then we have the infective endocarditis yes we have the infective endocarditis as well so basically uh, two of the options are from the mnemonic so we can say yes all of the above is going to be the answer so you can do the smart guesses by remembering this particular mnemonic for uh, solving the questions on the causes of the clubbing now if i just give you the differential diagnosis of the finger clubbing yes there will be congenital or familial cases in 5 to 10 percent cases and rest will be acquired so uh, yes in the acquired also there will be thoracic reasons there will be cardiovascular reason there will be gastrointestinal reason and there will be other reason as well so if i just talk about the thoracic reason yes there will be pulmonary tuberculosis bronchiectasis lung abscess empyema cystic fibrosis then there will be tumors like lung cancer mesothelioma fibroma pulmonary fibrosis so all these we can remember then we have the cardiovascular disease the cyanotic congenital heart disease infective endocarditis okay then we have the arteriovenous and the fistulas right then we have the gastrointestinal causes in which we have the celiac disease inflammatory bowel disease cirrhosis and yes other uh, causes are also there for example thyroid acropathy that is thyrotoxicosis and primary hypertrophic osteo, uh, uh, arthropathy so basically if you just remember that mnemonic will be coming back to the particular question so the answer is going to be four uh, all of these will be the answer